Hey guys, welcome to interview questions and answers discussion center. I am Ripon Dutto. This is fourth class. Today I am going to discuss about how to delete middle node in a singly linked list. So let's get started. So this is our singly linked list. So in this case we can use two pointer, one pointer we can say tortoise another pointer we can say here that means here and tortoise method tortoise will be advanced to a step where here will be advanced on a step that means whenever tortoise is here or we can say here is here ace then tortoise will be traversed from this one and this one in the next step here will be here then tortoise will be next to a step that means there in the third step here will be here and tortoise will be here and here now we can see tortoise reach the null pointer that means our list is uh, traversed by the tortoise so we can say here is now in the middle of the linked list we can use this technique and we will be used another uh, who is another node which will keep the previous value so whenever here is here then previous equal null then whenever here is in that position then previous equal 0 1 and whenever here is in that position then previous equal 0 2 so whenever here is in the middle of the linked list then we can just change the pointer from here to there that's it and then that means it will be deleted so 1 2 4 5 so this is the way how to we delete the middle node of a linked list now let's get started with visual studio new project in this case i'm gonna use console application and i can say how to delete middle node of a singly linked list okay then first I need to create a node so public node is next private variable which is value in the constructor next equal null value equal 0 and in the overloaded constructor we can pass the value so next equal null and this dot value equal value so this value means this instance value equal this value which is this parameter now I need to write another method which is getter method value get it will return the value right then
we can create our node empty node and then the head which contains the root node then root equal root dot next equal new node let's say one similarly we may have five nodes two three four five finally we can print the list head right so you can say current equal head dot next while current not equal null current dot value then current equal current dot next so we can print control F5 yes one two three four five now we need to write another method which after deleting middle node then head equal middle node I have to send head then I can print list again head so I need to create this method so first write the our tortoise equal head here equal also head and another node which is let's say pre previous which is initially null now write a loop in the loop if tortoise dot next equal null otherwise tortoise equal tortoise dot next and here equal here dot next before going through the next up here we need to keep the here value then finally we need to check again null then otherwise tortoise equal tortoise dot next because in every step tortoise will will be two step ahead I mean tortoise will visit the two node while here will be visit only one node right so whenever tortoise dot next equal null that means in this position when tortoise equal null then we have to change the pointer from previous dot next equal here dot next that means this one so previous dot next equal here dot next and return the head similarly return the head that's it now we can run the program you can see after deleting the middle node middle node is the 3 so 1 2 4 5 now 
I want to delete another node so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 then 1 2 4 5 then middle node is 2 so 1 4 5 then if I delete one more node then it will be 4 let's see All right you can see yes 1 4 5 now 1 5 let's see one more time yes one is deleted now only have five let's see one more time so after deleting the middle node we have only five after deleting the middle node this is empty so we can see how to delete the middle node of a singly linked list and this is a um, often question in interview most of the time you have to face this kinds of question I hope you enjoyed this lesson if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel if you have any question or any comment or if you don't understand this class please comment in the comment box I will be going to answer your question so see you soon till then bye